Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I am checking out my old Nokia Windows phone in 2020. This is a Nokia Lumen 635 packing 1 gig of RAM, 8 gigs of storage and a Snapdragon 400 processor. It's a decent phone. It does run Windows 8.1 mobile so it is no longer supported sadly but I thought we should check it out. So this is what it will boot to when you uh, once you've set it up. And as you can see, it's got lots of junk on it, but that's actually good because the App Store is no longer supported, as you're going to see later on in the video. The lock screen looks beautiful when I, on the my, my one, and you can access every function from it still, because I have no password on mine. But anyways, let's just get right into the video. It is pretty much just like a portrait version of Windows 8.1. Booting it up, it goes into the start menu, which is really, really weird, but it actually suits a touch device, and also swiping right gives you all these, all your apps. This is really actually quite good compared to on the desktops. I know it's quite hasty on desktops, but it's actually quite nice on here. So it does come with quite a bit of bloat, but this is actually quite good because obviously the app store is no longer there anymore, but yeah. Opening up the no longer supported app store literally just hangs at the loading screen for ages and all you get after that is an error message. Which is I feel it's a shame because this looks like a decent phone if I could get the app store to work. Now, if I did get the app store to work, I would have probably used this as a Spotify phone or a music phone, whatever you want to call it, because this is actually quite a nice phone and it fits perfectly like in a pocket. So that would be quite nice to have, but sadly the store is obviously dead. Uh, and as you could see, I was trying to find the Spotify app, but it just continuously loaded or gave you an error. So I feel that's a shame because it's quite a nice seeming phone. Moving on to multitasking, this actually seems quite nice. Opening multiple apps at once and going to multiple websites on Internet Explorer while having other apps open didn't seem too bad, even though only one gig of RAM isn't that much. But I'm guessing Windows 8.1 Mobile can manage low RAM quite well, because multitasking felt quite perfect in this way. To go to multitasking, you held down the back button, which is an unusual way, but that's how you do it. It didn't actually feel too bad, it felt quite snappy, and you could actually like do different things at one time, which felt quite good for a 1GB of RAM. Next, I'm going to move on to the camera. So the camera is actually a really good camera for like a, what? 2015 phone it's quite quite nice to be honest i'm quite shocked at how good this camera is it's a 5 megapixel camera obviously 720p but it's quite actually that quite good so i'm going to show you some photos i took in my garden now so this camera is actually pretty decent for a 5 megapixel camera. Next up is typing on this keyboard. It's not great. If you could get another keyboard, then do it, but I can't get the store to work because obviously it's not supported anymore. And half the time I accidentally put like your YouTube, not YouTube, because it's just really hard to type on. I'm not sure if it's because it's so small. It just is pretty much impossible to type on this keyboard. Next up is YouTube through its web version. Yeah, this actually performs pretty well. I'm quite shocked at how well this performs. You can actually like watch YouTube reasonably well. And the speaker doesn't sound perfect, but obviously you can like use headphones if you wish. It's a quite actually quite a decent device for watching YouTube on. Um, I'm gonna show you some music on here because it does actually sound pretty good. <laughs>
So it's actually quite a powerful device for YouTube watching. And I kind of figured if it's that good on the speaker, what would it sound like on the actual surround system? So I did plug it into my TV's hi-fi system to see what it would sound like. So I guess you can have a use for a Windows phone as maybe a music player for your hi-fi system. Moving on to using it as a texting and calling device, I don't have a SIM in my one so I can't really send any texts or calls, but it does seem like it could be a really good texting call device if you want to put a SIM in it. Obviously, I really don't know how to put a SIM in this one because where is the SIM slot? It like doesn't have any instructions, my one, and also it just looks like there's no SIM slot at all. And when I do try and to a call, obviously nothing actually happens because I don't have any um, SIM card. But, yeah. Next up is pre-installed apps. Now, this is really pointless. I don't use lines, so I really don't know what the point of it is. And also, I really don't know what else you can really do on it. Facebook, when you try to use it, doesn't actually do much. It just throws up an error. And really, that's about it. You can do a few things uh, other than uh, YouTube watching. But to be honest, YouTube isn't about, about as far as it goes. Maybe a bit of internet browsing. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please, please like and subscribe. But if you didn't enjoy this video, then, well, maybe leave a dislike and then I'll know. Anyway, guys, peace out.